Historically, tyrants have tried to control the press using four techniques that worryingly Donald Trump is already using. Number one, berate the media and turn the public against it. Trump refers to journalists as dishonest, disgusting, and scum. It lies, deceit, viciousness, disgusting reporters, horrible people. They're scum. Absolute scum. Remember that. Scum. The dishonest press. When he lies, claiming, for example, massive voter fraud in the election uh, that he won in a landslide, and the media call him on those lies, he says the media is lying. Even televised satires he labels unfunny, one-sided, and pathetic. Number two, limit media access. Trump avoids news conferences. He's blocked the media from traveling with him, and even from knowing with whom he's meeting. His phone call with Russian President Vladimir Putin, which occurred shortly after the election, was first reported by the Kremlin. Number three, threaten the media. During the campaign, Trump threatened to sue the New York Times for libel in response to an article about two women who accused Trump of touching them inappropriately years ago, and then another that revealed part of his 1995 tax returns. He says he plans to open up our libel laws so when they write purposely negative and horrible and false articles, we can sue them and win lots of money. And four, bypass the media and communicate with the public directly. Trump tweets incessantly, issues videos, and holds large rallies, all of which further enable him to lie directly to the public with impunity. The word media comes from intermediate between the powerful and the public. Responsible media hold the powerful accountable by correcting their misstatements, asking them hard questions, and reporting on what they do. Apparently, Trump wants to eliminate such intermediaries. Historically, these four techniques have been used by demagogues to erode the freedom and independence of the press. Donald Trump seems intent on doing exactly this.